Right. Time to read a fucking short story. Ah, the cousin of Hercules. Hades was having a day uh, like any other get up, torture minions, judge souls, more work and repeat, but today was different. A ghost woman ran into his throne room and bowed down to him. Hades, I beg for you, help. Hades looked down at the woman, bored. Every now and then one would come in and beg. He sighed. Luck, lady. You're dead. Gone. Deceased. You kicked the bucket. Now get over it and go into the river where you belong. Why am I giving him a fucking joker voice? <laughs> I will. But, but first I beg you to save her. The ghost sobbed. Hades looked at her with confusion. Save her? Lady, do you know who I am? I don't save people. Okay. I, <laughs> it's my sister. Our parents are about to kill her. You have to stop them. Please, she continued. If they do, she'll come here and you, you can be together. This isn't my problem. She'll be, she, she'll be use of you. Wait, she'll be of use to you. The ghost suddenly said, my sister has powers. That caught Hades touching powers. What kind of powers? She could change her appearance. And once she got so upset, she burst into flames. My parents are terrified of her. When I tried to stop them, they killed me. Please, if you do this, you can keep her, and I'll go into the river. I'll be peace once my sister is safe. Hades thought about it. Hmm. Interesting. I get a powerful girl to work for me, and maybe use her to take down Zeus. He turned back to the ghost. Okay, miss. Got yourself a deal. Let's go save your sister. With a snap of the fingers, they showed up in the house behind a couple that were sharpening blades. Hades cleared his throat. <clears throat> so, what's this about? I hear about you two wanting to kill your own flesh and blood. The couple turned and screamed. Ah! At the sight of him, which just made Hades grin more. Just wait till you two move on. I have a special treatment for you two. And that will come sooner than you think. With a snap of his fingers, the couples lost their breaths and fell to the floor. Hades turned to the ghost. So where's your sister? The ghost ran into another room and opened a door. Hades followed and frowned at what he saw. You never told me your sister was a baby. Is a baby? It doesn't matter. We had a deal. You save her, you keep her, the ghost replied. Deal is off. I don't want a brat near me, Hades told her. But she still has the powers you want and think about. It's this way you can raise her to be like you. Wouldn't you rather have someone that will look up to you and listen to you and truly love you? Hades thought about it. Hmm. I raise someone evil, use their powers as, as please, and have a better chance of taking over. Hmm. Downside. It's, it's a crying attention seeker. But I guess I can always give her a pain and panic. He turned back to the ghost. All right. Since she has powers, I'll take her. Not until you promise to love her, you'll love her, the ghost said. Hades glared and crossed his arms. And why would I do that? Think about it. You live in the underworld all by yourself. A child is what you need to be happy, she replied. Hades was about to argue, but he couldn't because she was right. He had no one, except his minions, but he didn't think they counted. To be honest, he didn't think... He can love, since he never got it. Oh fuck, I lost it. Ooh, hold on. Hold on, I lost it. Since he never got it. The ghost gently put a hand, put a hand on Hades' arms. She'll love you. I know it. Hades sighed. Alright, let me see her. Hades picked up who he would be taking and raised at a, a bro at the sleeping grove sleeping girl i don't see anything special the girl looked just like any other mortal kid soft smooth skin a short hair covering her head the ghost gently stroked her sister's cheek come on wake up and say hello to your new father slowly the girl's eyes opened if they were blue her eyes landed on hades who was staring down at her the girl in his arms saw his flaming blue hair and made her hair do the same thing do the same Whoa! 
Hades almost dropped her from being so, so surprised. Now very curious, he made his flames turn red. The girl's the, the girl he's holding giggled and set her whole body on fire, making him almost drop her again. But he kept a tight grip. The ghost chuckled. She loves to show off. Hades smiled. You know what? I think I'm going to love this. About an hour later, Hades was on Olympus and just saw his brother with his son Hercules. Hades made himself known. How sentimental. You know, I haven't been this choked up since I got a hunk of moussaka caught in my throat. Then he walked away forward with everyone glaring at him. So this is an audience for... Uh, so is this an audience or a mosaic? So, Hades, you finally made it. How are things going in the low world? Zeus asked, putting his hands on his brother's shoulder. Hades took his hand off took his hand off of him and smirked. Well, they're just fine, you know? A little dark, a little gloomy, and as always, hey, full of dead people. What are you gonna do? He noticed then he noticed Hercules. Ah, there's the little sunspot, little snoochie. And here's the sucker for the little sucker, eh? Here you go. You just Hercules then grabbed onto Hades' fingers and squeezed it, making Hades shout and pull away. Sheesh! Ah, powerful little tyke. Ah, oh, Hades, don't be such a stiff. Join the celebration, Zeus insisted. Oh, I can't, said Smiling Big. I have something way more important than this. Zeus frowned and became angry. What, you, what could be more important than my son? Hades spread his arms out and said loudly, I just became a father. All of Olympus gasped. Hades was loving Hades was loving his time in the spotlight. That's right. I now have a daughter. Hades, what's this about? Sue stumped on him. What? You don't believe me? Well, you're welcome to come down to the underworld and meet my little Carissa. Aphrodite, the goddess of love, gasped. Or Carissa? Beloved? Hades nodded. That's right. I named her that. Because it fits her perfectly. Now, if you excuse me, I have to get back. I don't want to pay the babysitter more than I have to. And with a snap of fingers, he was gone. Mm, mm, mm. How long is it? Seven minutes? I can go for a little longer. Here he's walked over to his daughter's room to see she was reading a book. She was reading, she was reading, looking bored. Oh, Carissa, I have a surprise for you. Carissa looked over to her father, blinking up at him. What's the occasion? You're going to school. Hades told her, trying to sound thrilled. Carissa just looked at him for a few seconds before she bursted out laughing. Good one, Dad. This isn't a joke. I'm sending you to Prometheus Academy, he told her. Carissa stopped laughing. What? What? What did I do? That's a mortal school. Hades grabbed her lips to make her stop. Carissa, look. You remember your cousin... Her Hercules, right? Chris had nodded. Well, he's going there, and I need you to spy on him. Befriend him. Tell me his weakness. You no know embarrassing stuff that happens, mostly because you caused them. Now, I'm going to let you go of your lips. You're going to calmly speak. Are we clear? Carissa nodded, making him let go of her lips. Making her let go. Making him let her go. Fuck. And sighed. Why do I have to do it? Can't pain and panic do it? They can turn themselves to look mortal. Because they will blow it. But you... Oh no. You are too much like me. That I know you only you can. Hades bend down to her level. So they are eye to eye. I don't care what you do. You could get all Fs on your report card for all I care. Well maybe. I'd care a little. I wouldn't want people to think my daughter's a dummy. Carissa put, her, put on her thinking face and smirked. Hmm. Befriend Hercules, cause trouble, and then blow it off. I like it. Hey, you smiled proudly. I knew you would. You know, I'm going to have to change my name if this is going to work. Hades nodded. You're right. What should your undercover name be? Carissa smirked. Karina. What? Hades looked at her shock. Karina, she repeated. Karina meaning pure, innocent, and friend. His face brightened. Perfect. Now for your new look. Carissa walked up to the mirror. Let's see. Get rid of the blue flaming hair. Carissa made her hair brown and shoulder length. Pale skin. Made it biggie. Eyes. Made her eyes green. A little more curvy. 
made her body bigger and shorter, made herself go from 5'7 to 5'3, and clothes, made a black outfit that went down to her knees and some sleeves. What do you think? Hades smiled. Hades smiled big. There's no one. There's no way no one will recognize you. Wait, there's no way no one will recognize you. I wouldn't recognize you if I didn't see you, if I didn't see it happen. Cursa made herself turn back into the form she prefers. Think I can handle it? Hades hugged her. I know you can. Next morning, Hades slammed the door to her room open. Time to start. Cursa was still in bed and groaned that she had to get up so early. Remind me to curse whoever made the rules for the school. Ooh. What the flip? Where'd I go? Noted. Now come on up. Up, up, up. Chris had groaned and put her pillow over her head. No! Hades then jumped onto her bed and started tickling her sides, making Chris laugh and scream to get out of her script and making Hades smirk. It works every time. Chris giggled and got up. Okay, okay, I'm up. She turned into her another form. Okay, I'm ready. Not without breakfast, you're not. He said as he glides out of her room and with her following as always, pain and panic made the food. Nervous Carissa? Panicked as he passed her lunch. Packed her lunch. Nope. She replied and took her last bite and got up. She kissed Hades on the cheek before he before he teleports her to school. Okay, cousin, where are you? Carissa looked around and was about to walk in until a man stopped her. Every new student must have an ID and a schedule, class schedule, and a map and a locker number. He talked as fast as Hades does. Carissa took a deep breath, trying to not to roast him alive. I'm Karina. She told him sweetly and carved her name and face into her ID. Carissa walked to her first class and saw Hercules. Perfect. She sat near him and observed the entire time. She didn't really have to do much since the boy was nervous. Uh, was a nervous wreck. Smirking, she knew she was going to be easy. She simply took notes and watched him sweat. It was close to freaking out till lunchtime. Chris followed him. Followed him. Man, I had no idea high school would be so hard. Hercules said to his new friend, Icarus. Now Chris had dropped all of her books and gasped. Oh no! Hercules turned around and started picking some up. Here you go. Chris gave a sweet smile. Thank you so much. It was my first day and I couldn't find anyone to help me. Really? It's my first day. Want to sit down with us at lunch, Hercules asked. If you don't mind, Carissa replied. Hercules held out his hand. I'm Hercules. You can call me Herc. I'm Trina. Carissa shaking, said shaking his hand. Icarus. Icarus had introduced as she slid over to them. Carissa walked to them with the cafeteria and saw Icarus milk a goat. Goat milk? Pass. Carissa said, looking grossed out. I brought my own lunch. Hercules tried and ended up up spraying a really tall kid. Sorry, Ajax. He's the new kid. Icarus said he pushed Herc away. Carissa smiled to herself. Herc is already doing a bad job. She didn't do anything. Herc, try not to act like a new the new guy. Icarus survives and grabs some grapes. You got it, Icarus. Herc tried to grab some fruit himself, but ended up making the whole thing topple onto him. Good example. Icarus said while walking back over. This kind of thing that could get you labeled for life. I shall remember you. I shall remember your words of wisdom forever. Carissa told him sarcastically. All I'm saying is that kids can be cruel. Icarus continued as he walked before an overlay tan blonde guy took his tray. Thanks, Icky. Some more than others, Icarus shrugged. You can't do that. Hurt narrowed his eyes and was about to follow the jerk and Icarus stopped him. There you go. Acting new again. Why should we let him get away with that? Herc asked. Because he's Adonis. He's a prince. Icarus explained. And? Carissa asked not the big deal since she's a princess. If you want to survive high school, you gotta, you gotta know the score. Carissa crossed her arms. And what's the score? We're losers. Icarus cheered. 